Hey, Happy New Year. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Stark side. While you're here, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. So first things first, I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. So I also want to thank everyone for helping me reach my goal of 200 subscribers by the end of 2022. So thank you everyone. So today we'll be talking about the Marvel Legends or some major builder figure waves, Iron Heart. So here we have Iron Heart in the standard Marvel Legends packaging before it became windowless. So at the front here we have the Iron Heart logo from the comics. At the top we have the Iron Heart symbol. At the side we get some nice concept art of Iron Heart. Same on the other side. And at the back we get a brief buy of the character. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. And here we have the other figures from the wave. Alright, let's get Ironheart out of the packaging. So here we have Ironheart. Now before we talk about the figure itself, let's go over the accessories. So besides the build a figure piece and the Riri Williams alternate head sculpt, you get two pairs of interchangeable hands, one pair of repulsor blast effects, and one pair of smoke effects. So the hands here look good. So with the fisted hands here, the paint apps look nice. It's clean. I do wish they mixed in a bit of white with the blue here to make the glowing arc reactor effect better, you know? The same goes for the open repulsor hands. So the paint apps look good. However, these hands are not articulated. So they just stay up like this, which is a bit of a bummer, you know. I don't like it when Hasbro does this to open repulsor hands, so I hope they stop doing this for future figures. We also have these new blast effects. So these are different from the ones we usually see with the Iron Man figures. So uh, anyway, the translucent blue plastic here looks good. However, like with the repulsor paint apps, I wish they mixed in a bit of translucent white plastic here as well. To make it look more like an actual repulsor blast and by the way like with the previous blast effects these also break into two pieces like this and porting these in is very easy and lastly we have the smoke effects here uh, the gray paint apps look great so uh, no complaints here and i think the way you use these is you wrap them around one of the repulsor blast effects and that looks great so for those not familiar with the character, Riri Williams is an MIT student and genius who managed to reverse engineer Iron Man's armor and create her own first armor. So this figure is actually her second armor which she built with the help of an AI version of Tony Stark after he fell into a coma following a civil war with Captain Marvel. And I think the entire piece here is fairly comic accurate as you can see. Anyway, moving on, taking a closer look at the figure itself, starting with a head sculpt, so I think this is done very well. I think the red and gold paint apps are clean, they're done really well. The blue paint is also clean, though like with the accessories, some white mixed in would have been great. And switching it up with the alternate unmasked head sculpt. And yeah, I think this looks great. I think it's fairly accurate with the source material here, so I do like this a lot. And again, the paint apps on the face are done really well. Especially the eyes. Wow. That looks real. And the rest of the figure looks great. Actually, I don't have many complaints about the paint apps and sculpt for this figure. Except for my preference that some white be mixed in with the blue, which I keep saying throughout this video. But looking closely, so yep, nice gunmetal gray here on the neck really good. The gold paint apps are clean and shiny. And the back of the figure is just red though. There's a small paint chip of gold up here but not that much to complain about. The arms look good and clean. Again, nice gunmetal gray here under the shoulder. The gold looks awesome so far in this figure, you know. 
the legs look great no complaints here so yeah really clean so overall the sculpt and paint ups on this figure are awesome now let's go over the articulation for iron heart so iron heart can look up that far that looks good and she can look down all the way as well her head does rotate and we do get some nice neck pivot as well so this neck articulation is the same for her unmasked head sculpt her arms can bend upward that far the 90 degree mark that looks great and she can bend them down all the way as well her shoulders do rotate 360 we get a bicep swivel pinless double jointed elbows that looks good her wrists rotate and move up and down so we don't get any wrist articulation for the open repulsor hands like I said earlier. She has a diaphragm pivot that allows her to move sideways, bend forward, backwards, and rotate side to side. Her legs can kick forward that far and backwards a bit. Her hips can move outward that far. That looks good. She has an upper thigh cut, pinless double jointed knees, her ankles move up and down, and she has ankle pivot as well. Now for some figure comparisons, here's Ironheart next to some other comic Iron Man figures. So we have the Tony Stark AI and the Iron Man Model 70. And I think these look great side by side. And I do hope we get this particular armor design in her upcoming Disney Plus series, Ironheart. So that's my review of the Marvel Legends Ursa Major Build-A-Figure Waves Iron Heart. So I think this figure has good accessories, great sculpt, and great paint apps. And despite the open repulsor hands not being articulated, I think this figure has some awesome articulation overall. So I think this figure is amazing. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of my review. Please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, I do appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you still haven't, please hit that subscribe as well as the notification bell. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description below. And again guys, Happy New Year and I'll see you in the next video.